doesn't want a fake church. God doesn't want a hurting church. God wants a church that's one. We all have one voice. He, he wants a church that's full of love and full of compassion. God wants a church that will be healed from the inside. There is a love, and I say this in a moment, there is a love that each of us can give that the other can't. God has made all of us unique. Prophets, there are some things that, you know, uh, Evangelist Jones can say to you that pricks your heart that I can't. Because God has put the love in her towards you. You hear what I'm saying? There are some things, Sister Keisha, that I can say to you that Evangelist Jones can't. Because God has put the love in me towards you. What I'm saying is that God has given us, you might think this is crazy, but God has given us individual love. And then collective love. Who can do that but God? And so today, if it's you that needs healing, because you found out that you can't live another day with this pain, and you can't live another day with this worry. I want you to come. If it's you that has experienced a sever in the bloodline, if it's you that has experienced unbearable pain, the Bible said in that next verse, Cain said, the pain is too great for me to bear. The stuff that I've done to my brother is too much for me to bear. Can you imagine the pain of Adam and Eve having a child slay a child? You can just line up right across here because God is about to bring healing. And then the Bible said that she bear again and she bear Seth. And Eve said that God has given me another in place of Abel who can slew. You can stay right there, prophet. God, I want to be healed from all this torment. I want to be healed from all this pain. I want to pray for you first. Can you just come up? But I'll about shut to the whole seat. It's my time. It's my turn.
just gonna start all the way down. But this is a song that said, Watch me love. Watch me love. Make me clean. So that I might be great. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so. 
song. I didn't even know the lyrics to that song, but God, I had to sing that for you. Literally, the enemy has tried to detached you.
until we break through. Until we break through. Don't stop praying until you break through. Until you break through. Until you break through. Stop praying until you break through, until you feel it, until you feel it. Lift your hands up. Don't stop praying. Coach, until you until you feel it. In the name of Jesus, I command a relief. Thicker 
that blood. Yes. Now come on, somebody shout, thank you, that's somebody right there. Can I pray for you with the glasses? Yes, can I pray for you? Hallelujah. Almost. We almost two seconds. Okay. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm telling you, I'm not a lying prophetess. We're going to go for real right after this. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up. Oh my God. My God. My God. I feel the glory all over you. And God is about to do a 360 degree A 360 degree turnaround in your life. There's some stuff that you cannot handle. And you've been trying to fix it yourself. And, and it almost like makes you. You've been trying to make it work yourself. But God said that in one, two, three. He said in three days, I'm going to do a 360 degree. He said I'm about to turn some stuff around. What's your name? Somebody shout Loretha. Oh, I told y'all y'all supposed to be family now. Open your mouth and say Loretha. Loretha. There you go. God is about to change. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
clothes without no money. Amen? Yes. Pastor said that's true. Closing costs. Somebody shout closing costs. Closing Amen. Costs. Mom said she's partnering right now. So I'm like, Mom. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Almost. Did I see anybody move in the back? back in the Y'all moved over here? Oh, you did. Oh. Victory said we moved now. Don't, don't call us out. Maybe two more seconds. Anybody still dig into this? I'm sure Because seriously, we have to have money in order to close. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm going to say something. Our pastor said something at the run. He said that, you know, the building will basically pay for itself. But I'm on the Bible saying, I help and meet. I'm helping him meet. Yeah, so needs. Don't stop tied, being tied, and bringing offerings. Because it's still got property taxes, water bills, life bill, ministry, and all that. Amen. Back to the next ambition. Amen. Duncan Jimmy's age, which just recently passed before we got to go to the family where we did it. you just touch these siblings of the ones that put this together, God. We ask that you touch them right now, God. God, we ask that you would strengthen them like never before, God, and begin to touch their bodies, God. And God, give them creative ideas as a family to come together and bring all of us together, not just our family, God, but every family represented in this place. 
We ask all of these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give me one thing before we leave. Before we leave, everybody linking hands all over this place. Link hands with someone. And Elder Bridge, would you come? And tonight, come back at 6 o'clock. Uh, Evangelist McCoy is going to finish off speaking tonight. So come back at 6. But Elder Bridge, would you come? And I want you to link across the aisles. Across the aisles, across the aisles. And I want you to sing that song, Bind Us Together. Who knows Bind Us Together? <laughs> Come on up here, amen. Because we really want God to bind us together. Amen. Amen. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together. Pours the kin. Yes. Yeah.